Hey guys, time to get back into the Critter Chronicles, and just like Chapter 2, uh, we're going to start Chapter 3 as technically a new game, that way you guys can see the intro and how it all starts, and of course we are playing on hard. All the puzzles, all the pain still. Let's see what's going on here. Why do things like this always happen to me? Oh! Your inner voice. I want to punch her. Oh, so bad. Oh, okay. mm. All right, let's take a look in the box here. A whole lot of useless good. junk. Caps, t-shirts, fur hats, and thick gloves would be more appropriate. Oh. T-shirts would only keep me warm if I set them on fire, and Petra would probably not be happy about that. Oh. Sad. Can we set her on fire? Alright. Let's go, Critter. You have your hideout back there? Whew, why not? It can hardly get worse. Hey! This music is great. Does all this junk belong to you and your people? Do you know how to use it? I mean... Could you maybe repair an airship? Um, what? Okay, here's the plan. You help me to repair the Mary before Zazie shows up, and then of course I'll help you somehow too, alright? Um, <laughs> no idea. Do you have something like a leader? Take me to your leader. <laughs> Take me to your leader. All right, onward. There we go. Oh, this other is in there. How does it open? Who there? What want? Um, I need help with my airship. It crashed out there on the ice sheet. Human, help! We cannot spare anyone. We have to prepare for Monkus's return. Um, hello? Monkus, the son of the Archwitch Mortroga? What do you know about him? I, um, I met him a couple of times, when it couldn't be avoided. What's your <laughs> business with Monkus? He stole something from us. Our heart. Well, there's no accounting for taste. It's an important part of our machine. Without the heart, we have no energy and are stuck here. Um, who are you anyways? What are you doing here? The end of the world. I've never okay. seen creatures like you before. If we had fulfilled our mission, that would not have changed. Your mission? We are scientists. Explorers. We boldly go where no one has gone before. <laughs> you hit the bullseye with the Northlands, eh? How, how did you get here? Where's your ship? I have I already go too much. No one has we should not before. have made contact with anyone. Observation. That was our mission. Well, you failed. All right, so Wouldn't let it be me. Would better in. to talk face to face? I'm sorry. No one may enter our sanctuary. I come in peace. Others have said that before. You are not prepared to discover our secrets. Huh. All right. My airship is still a wreck. I have no tools. I have no spare parts. I have no experience in airship repair. And on top of everything else, there's a bounty hunter after me who I, I maybe shouldn't have ticked off quite so badly. <laughs> I really need help. That's a fact. I am sorry, human. But my crew and I have been stuck here for two years and can expect no help from home. If we do not have the heart by tomorrow evening, we will have to wait another year for a window to travel. And I will most likely not survive another year. We make it. Aww. Don't worry. Okay. I could help you with your problem with Monkus if you help me to repair the Mary. So far, we have only met two humans. One runs around in a Yeti costume and is eager to catch himself. The other... <laughs> we do not have great trust in the human race. We aren't all like those two. I... I could help you get your heart back. Monkus has it in his submarine. What makes you think you could get it back? Um, I'm a master of persuasion, 
I am a mighty warrior. I am a skilled thief. Uh, I'm good with words. I could sell a refrigerator to a Northman. You know what a refrigerator is? Nope, but I can sell it anyway. That doesn't <laughs> convince me. You are not good with words. Yes, I am. Aww. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You can't talk monkeys into returning <laughs> our heart. Yes, I can. <laughs> the trolls okay. of Yogesh War fear my axe. The harpies of the White Coast quake before my spear. The kobolds of Dervis shiver before... Uh, uh, well, I'm just a really good fighter. But Munkus <laughs> is a sorcerer. You cannot defeat him with axes or spears. Unless you have magic weapons. Maybe, maybe I'll go to him and snivel like a little girl. That should soften his heart. I oh, appreciate geez. your willingness. But I fear that this is not a very promising plan. Okay, so uh, last thing I noticed, I've thief. stolen your heart from him. I'm a skilled thief. Indeed, that would be a possibility. As soon as we have the heart, we need less than an hour to begin our journey. Well, then let's do it. Repair my ship, and then I'll bring you the heart. Not so fast. We place ourselves in great danger if we oppose Munkers. You must first prove that you really are a master thief. Could these eyes lie? Go <laughs> to the human woman Petra. She appears to have stolen an important antenna from us. Bring us the antenna as proof of your abilities. Then we shall see. But oh boy. Hurry! Time is of the essence. All right. It's probably my only chance. You stay here, boy. <laughs> the human must prove his skills alone. Come Aww. in and bring me my medicinal brandy. Medicinal brandy. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Pretty. Bye. A dirt, a dirt. All right. So let's get moving on down the line here. <laughs> the penguin's still running. A treadmill with a penguin in really good shape. And this device generates some sort of energy. <laughs> the penguin in really good shape. Oh my god, okay. Well, I really don't want to go back to the Yeti cave, because getting captured there would be bad. Let's see what crazy that lady's got. another castaway? I mean, why else would a normal person be here? Well, let's find Hi. out. This ought to be good. Is that your trash? That is my ship. I crashed here. I have to warn you that this is a nature reserve guarded by Petra. Uh, Seriously, what, are, what you are, you are you doing here? I'm gaining frontline experience. The war is in the south. That's the war between humans, dwarves, orcs, and all other stinkers. This is the battle for nature. Who's winning? Petra will win. My animal rights organization! <laughs> and what is Petra? Petra is still in the foundation phase, but it will be an alliance of the best, most committed, and most wonderful people. An association of men. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> we will have money, influence, and wherever you look, our moral wagging finger will be waiting for you. We make uh -huh. money from donations and merchandising. Anyone can buy a clean conscience from us. And that's supposed to protect the environment? Exactly. I see. Very um, nice sweaters you have there. Handmade, of course. Store-bought clothing is made from wool stolen from animals. Um, if you don't want to take any wool from animals, what is your sweater made of? Sweated wool. What? Sweated wool. That's wool that the sheep don't want anymore. How do you know that? I watch the sheep, and when it's so hot in the summer that they start sweating under their heavy winter wool, I ask them if I should cheer them. And what do they say? Yes, <laughs> please. At least I think so. So oh my God. those are sweated wool sweaters. Right! They're great! Just the smell is so... 
Natural! Oh my god. Okay. And you sit here the whole time on a cold rock, watching the landscape? Don't you ever move? I mean, you need to eat. That is a problem. I did make some sandwiches, but they're all gone. And there isn't really much to eat here for a vegemaniac. Vegemaniac? I don't eat anything made from animals. The animals might eat, or the animals have already eaten. I'm also against magic flavour enhancers. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, I would well, love just to help you list. in your work and protest back there. Excellent. But I would need the sign. Do you think anyone could have a protest sign? That has to be earned. Uh, what do I have to do? You must meet three <laughs> conditions to earn the right to carry a Petra sign. First, you can't eat any meat or use any animal products. Second, you must donate all your worldly goods to the good cause. That means you have to give it to Petra. Third, you have to... Thanks, that's enough. <laughs> and you're okay. protesting against... Everything that's wrong with the world. You've got your work cut out for you. The war, the destruction of whole cities, the exploitation of the workers in the weapons industry, the abandoned orphans. Come <laughs> off it. That's their own fault. I'm worried about those who can't protect themselves, the animals. And how do you do that? For example, in Stateborough, I went from farm to farm and freed two dozen cows. They all died that winter because they didn't find enough fodder. But better dead than a prisoner of the meat eaters. I'd rather oh be free God. and alive. I took a piece of leather from one of the farms. It's to remind me that I've done something good. You're a heroine. Oh my God. That piece of leather. Can I have it? What do you want it for? Um... I want to do good with it. It will be a memento. Um, I want to do good I with it. I want to do a lot of good with it and point out injustice. With a leather rag? Of course. Yes. Because it isn't just any leather rag. It, it's Petra's leather rag. I will roam the country with it and tell people the inspiring story of the courageous and generous... Oh, forget it. You wouldn't believe me anyway. What? <laughs> okay. I'd like uh, to let's have a memento on. of you. Oh. Well. Why? I think that someday you'll be famous. Really? You're reckless, oh my God, egomaniacal, voice. and completely crazy. You'll go far. Thank you. <laughs> and I oh want to God. be able to say, I knew her when she was only getting on our nerves in the Northlands. <laughs> All right! Take the leather as a memento! Uh, oh my god. Okay. I really need your protest sign. The animals need it more. As long as I'm here, I will carry it with pride. I'm sure you will. Not a chance. I have to get rid of her. Okay. So that's my clue. I've got to go. Um, what's your name, anyway? Petra, of course, just like my organization. I'll remember that name. Petra, Petra, don't talk to Petra. Petra is crazy. Stay away from Petra. <laughs> Petra is crazy. <laughs> oh... Okay, there's got to be something to do here. So we've looked at the machine. Um, there's stuff to click on over the here. The metal plate looks rather heavy. It's sunk into the snow. Well, that's useful, son. Um, oh, look at a little baby critter. Oh, isn't he cute? <laughs> Look at that! 
Good evening, awesome. ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, what, what was that? Uh, my youngest. Um, is he okay? His voice. Uh, born here. Talk good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does, but his voice is a little... How shall I put it? Uh, unusual. Well, my little friend, do you want to watch the penguins with me? Repeats everything. He repeats everything he's heard? And in the voice he heard it in? And in the voice he heard it in? Oh my. Fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> okay. Modeling. And now back to the guy. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, we can have fun with that. Let's check this guy out again. Gucci, Gucci, Goo. <laughs> That's oh my. a shiver down my spine. Do you understand what you're saying? There, there's nothing to laugh about, my little friend. Ah, you don't. Well, my little friend, do you want to watch the penguins with me? Okay. So. That's another critter. Another critter. <laughs> he just ate the worm. Okay, so, um, jeez, I don't even know what, what to do. Critters hiding in this cave? If even somebody like Monkus is after it, it must be incredibly valuable. Any ideas what to do here? A furball oh, is sitting know? somewhere in this sanctuary and talking to me through a pipe, even though I may be dozens of yards away. It's impressive how far modern telecommunications have come. Almost frightening. What are the critters hiding in the... Okay, I, I missed the click. Nah, better not. The old guy doesn't sound in very good shape. I'll only bother him when it's absolutely necessary. It's absolutely necessary. Alright, we've already looked at the critter. Um, um, we've already looked at the metal plates. No idea what it is or was good for. In any case, it's too heavy to drag around. Okay. We got a spring. We're gonna get this spring. A metal spring, really strong. Yep. I guess we're taking it. What else we got here? A large metal barrel. It's filled with a foul-smelling dye. Mm, okay, we'll probably need something to come pick that up later. What else we got in here? Okay. Let me tell you, I wish I wasn't in hard mode. If this chair were on a beach on a tropical island and I had a mead in one hand and an almond-eyed beauty in the other, but the way it is, it's just a wet old chair in the middle of nowhere. So I'm assuming I cannot pick up the chair, because that would be useful. Oh wow, this has been uneventful so far. All we've seen is the metal plate. Okay. Let's go back out here. Oh, here we go. Something I didn't look at before. I shouldn't have reveled so much in my triumph over Mazaz. When you're steering your ship through a region full of flying islands, you ought to look forward once in a while. <laughs> your standards for giraffes. Okay. So our goal is to get the antenna from her. Um, but she wants food. There's food up in the Yeti cave. This could be a completely bad idea. Um. The backpack is frozen so solid it can't be used anymore. Hmm. But here, the pickaxe could come in handy. Aha! Got it. Yoink. Alright, and the Yeti's not paying. Okay. That's a weapon for. <laughs> Yeti Knights! 
<laughs> uh, it's impossible to top the Yeti nightline. So I'm yes, not going to say anything else. Uh, oh, oh, damn it. Okay, that was funny. The horseshoe is hanging too close to Cornelius for my taste. He's got quite a reach in his Yeti disguise. Okay, so what can we do I'd about like him? I'd like to talk to Cornelius, but unfortunately Cornelius thinks he's a 300-pound man-eating Yeti. Uh-huh. Okay. What do we got here? Up here, being able to knit probably isn't quite as pointless as it is elsewhere. I can imagine there's a market for warm socks and scarves. I'm not cold, but there's a loose thread here. I'll take that. Let's call it pure malice. <laughs> oh, pure malice. Okay, okay, so... Um... The ice cave seems to be mostly natural, but good old Cornelius helped things along in a few places. You can see traces of tools here. Uh huh. I'll smooth the Wait ice as well as I can with a flat side. Oh, uh, not bad. The ice forms a more or less smooth surface. I won't get it any smoother with a pickaxe. But you would with a leather right. rack. Now a little polishing. Oh, look at that. And here's another happy surface. It gets to reflect me. Oh, jeez. Okay. I think we're onto something I've here. I polished the surface of the ice so smooth with the rag that you can see your reflection. All right, now how do we... Um... Oh, hold on. <laughs> this ought to be good. He's going to see himself and slam into the wall. Everything okay? Uh, the, uh, the Yeti! I found the Yeti! Really? Oh my god. Yes! Yes! He's there in the wall! Oh, be careful. He's aggressive. Oh, gods. He's caught one of us! Oh, yeah. A very good looking young man. <laughs> then. There are two! Oh, or, oh no. Do you know what this means? I have to, uh, I have to rethink nuts. my strategy. Don't let that hairy devil fool you, my friend. Oh, of course not. Nope. Alright. But now we've got Cornelius, so now we can see what we can do here. Cornelius. Cornelius is normal again. Well, you know. What is up, Cornelius? Hey, Cornelius. Oh, hello. I bet you already have a plan to catch the Yeti, don't you? No, not yet. My stomach is growling. Oh, it's as if I haven't eaten in days. I could easily turn cannibal. And your growling um, stomach keeps you from thinking? Indeed! Uh, but fortunately, I have everything here I need for a healthy vegetarian sandwich. Oh, perfect. What do you say? Could you let your loyal fellow hunter have a bite of your sandwich? Oh, I would love to. But, well, I only have this one sandwich, and the full functionality of my brain is extremely important for our undertaking. Oh One sandwich isn't enough to ensure the full functionality of your brain. We shall see. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Can you, in good conscience, allow a young man who has always believed in you to starve? Great discoveries always demand great sacrifice, my young friend. 
If you starve to death, you will have died on the altar of science. For science? Okay. Hmm. Hmm? I was just thinking... What are you thinking? The Yeti is an extremely cunning creature, right? Of course. Otherwise, he would not have escaped me for so long. <laughs> and wouldn't a cunning creature set every conceivable trap to stop his most dedicated pursuer? That can be assumed. And you want to just eat a sandwich? A sandwich whose ingredients have been lying around here unguarded all day? What was the Yeti <laughs> doing here in your cave? Think about it. You are right. Nothing was stolen. Nothing destroyed. He wasn't here to steal or destroy. He wanted to... Wanted to, to kill. kill. Poison? <laughs> exactly. I, I don't know how to thank oh you, my, my clever friend. Complete your mission. That is thanks enough. And, um, I should take the bread to the lab for analysis. Certainly. Certainly. Uh, take it away. Oh, my. Then I shall I now have, have a consider sandwich. my plan with a growling stomach. Uh, I have to beat the Yeti with his own weapons. Perhaps I should disguise myself. Oh, perhaps. Who would have ever thought? A horseshoe. Some people say horseshoes bring good luck. Others say they're shaped pieces of iron that get nailed to horses' hooves. <laughs> okay, so now we have a lucky horseshoe. Uh, have we already talked to everybody that we can here? Is there anything else of value to click on, see, get, or do in here? Look at the clay pot. I wonder what's in the clay All right. pot. Alright, what have we here? A white powder. Salt? Drugs? The latter could explain Cornelius' condition. <laughs> sugar. Huh. May I use some of it? Help yourself. I have more than enough of it. Lately I've been drinking half as much tea as usual. Oh my Thanks. God. I wonder why. Okay, so I just randomly put some sugar in my pocket, as you can clearly see. Um, let's see, what else? Look at the greasy pan. Hmm, the pan is rancid with fat and black inside. Ew. My grandma Ew. always said you should never wash pots because of the taste. May I use it? Why not, as long as you don't wash it? Mm. The pan is hot. I could fry something, if I wanted to. Um, I guess I have nothing to fry at the moment. Okay. Well, we could go give Petra the sandwich, and then call it there for now. So let's go do that. Come on! Would you like something to eat? Hmm, what are my choices? Yes or no? <laughs> yes! Alright, I've got a sandwich here. I'll give it to you if you give me your protest sign. Typical human. You don't do anything that's not in your own interest. Even an animal wouldn't give something to another without gaining something. Only because we anthropomorphize animals. I'm not oh, going geez. to just give you the sandwich. Then forget it. Well, all right then. She's being a real pain in the ass, isn't she? All right. We'll figure out the rest of this on the next video. Uh, so thank you guys for watching.